It's your boy Direct the Dash, and we are back with another B to the I to D E O. Let's go. What is good, my beautiful peoples? How you feeling? How you doing? I hope you had an amazing day because I definitely did. As you already know from the title of the video, from the thumbnail, from the description, from blah 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 blase blase. You already know what we're getting into today. So enough of me talking, and let's get this unboxing underway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Right, as y'all can see, we got Shen, we got Boo, and we about to rip these bitches open. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Do not mind me and my crazy antics. If you're new to the channel, that's just what I do. And if you're not new to the channel, you know that's how I get down. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Get some help. To keep it a buck with y'all, I don't really know what's in these packages like that. I ordered these almost two months ago. I intended to do an unboxing when I got them in, but between shipping times, work, travel, life shit, you know, it's two months later and now we're unboxing it. So this shall be fun. Both me and you are gonna discover what the fuck I went and spent my money on this time. So yeah, take this journey with me to figure out what the fuck I got. What I can say is majority of this is clothing and then a couple of these items are a few pieces of clothing and then a couple of accessories. So let's get into it. All right, since Shein has less stuff to actually try on, um, we're just gonna start with her first, right? Right, let's give the girlies what they wanna see. Shein, you're up next, bitch. Let's go. I literally just sat here and told y'all these bags have accessories in it and here I am just throwing them all around. I need to stop doing that. Alright, to so start, we got one accessory, two, last thing for this bag. Bag two, one, two, three, four. They gave me a little, little coupon book. Okay. They want me to come back and shop with them. But it's only 15%. Then again, everything on Shein is cheap as fuck, so let me be grateful. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that's Shein. On to the next big boy. On to the next big boy. Ooh, ooh. See this big ass baby right here. You see this big ass baby right here. We gonna rip her from it to it. Boo Why did I do that? I don't know. But I do a lot of things that I truly can't explain in life, and um, that was one of them. You just happen to see it. Boo -hoo. Give me a second to collect myself, all right? Give me one second. All right, I think I collected everything, guys. Let's see. It's not like I know how many items I ordered to, like, double count what came in. I mean, I can just pull it up on my laptop right here, but we're not going to do all that. We'll fact check all that shit later. We're just going to hope everything came in the package and... Yeah, that's what we gonna do. So let's see what we got. We got these two packs right here. We got these two right here. We got these two right here. We got these two right here. And last meal right here. Uh, so we got seven from Sheen, ten from Boohoo. Let's get into it. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. We're gonna kick this off with something real smooth and simple. When you really forget what the fuck you be buying, bro. Hold on, that just made my whole day. If you don't fucking know, now you know, now you know. Royalty and loyalty, baby. You know the vibes. Purple all day, every day. <laughs> I didn't even look at the glasses yet. Like, do you understand? I didn't examine the glasses yet. All I seen was the purple fucking frames. I'm sold. These shits might not even look good, but I'm sold. They're purple. They're purple. Purple with God accent. Y'all don't know. Purple is literally it's fading out my hair right now. But um, again, if you've been on my page before, you know the vibes. Purple royalty and loyalty. Hold on, I gotta inch closer to show y'all. 
wall on, wall on, wall on. Wall on. What you said, bitch? The fuck you did. <laughs> These shits look fire! Oh, let me do it with them niggas that be getting that ugly ass white chalk on their head be doing when they get a, a shape up. Yeah, yeah, peep that? Yeah, peep. <laughs> nah, for real though, if you get that fucking white chalk shit after you get a lineup, you're a bozo because that shit looks goofy, nigga. You look like a bad boom, nigga. Take that shit off your head. If the niggas you really hung out around was your bros like they say they was, they would dip your head in a fucking bucket of water, bro. Why are you walking out the salon with a white ass chalk line on your head? But y'all niggas do the to each they own. Nah, these shits are clean, bro. Purple gradient frameless shade with gold accents. And you have, I don't even know what the fuck this is, bro. Is that a Jaguar? It's sitting pretty, baby. It's sitting real pretty. All right, next shade, next shade, next shade. Next shades, next shades, next shades, yeah. <laughs> These fucking burnt orange shits look nice. Same exact style as the first pair, the purple and gold. These are just burnt orange and gold with the little jaguars caressing the side. Let me slide these on, oh, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> I think I'm just about over being your girlfriend. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bitch, nigga, I'm just about over being your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Hey, hey, as I think I'm about over being your girlfriend. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I wish I had this much energy when I was with my ex, but you know. <laughs> she made the move to exit out, and I'm very thankful she did. That was life changing, and I needed that because I was in it to the end. I was willing to ride and die. I was literally willing to die in a relationship. I'm glad she called it quits. I'm glad Shorty said I needed to work on myself, baby. Trust me, I've been working, and I hope you have been too because niggas is blossoming and evolving over here. So much love. I wish you the best in life. You know, never hate, and I hope you do great. And I'm just gonna keep positive. I, 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 I keep focusing on myself. Back. You know, I find it crazy when niggas say focus on yourself and then they try to spin the block like 20 times, even to this day. But anyway, look at these shades. These shits are golden. Hold on, let me show y'all my new. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me come to this side. I think I'm out of being your girlfriend. Like I have fucking titties anymore. I used to. <laughs> if you know, then you know. And if you don't, just scroll on my page and you will understand. And y'all see me take it out the case. So yes, it does come with a case. And yes, it does come with a little micro loft. I'm not even sure if this is like really micro fly, 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 <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is actually like a real microfiber cloth or what this shit is. This shit looks real cheap. To be honest, it looked like they got this out the fucking craft section at Dollar General and cut a little one by one square out and threw it in this bitch and said, here you go, attempt to clean your shades. But at the end of the day, at least it comes with one. And my non-seeing ass, I've been wearing glasses for years, so I have a bunch of cases. I have a bunch of microfiber cloths, so I could just use a real one. I gotta give these badass bitches a nine and a half. Only reason why I'm knocking it down half a stop is because the protection and packaging that came in. Not a bad case, but definitely could have been better. For one, I don't like soft cases because the moment you sit on this, squish it, put it in your bag, whatever happens, you know we're always moving in life and usually cases in your bag so you put it down and you never know what could happen to it as much as we try to be on top of things like that you know shit just happens so this case holds no protection whatsoever and then two on top of that this shit is ass because there's no way that's a real microfiber cloth to clean lenses there's no fucking way but since the case and the cloth are not the main reason why i got these i'm gonna keep it fair and i'm gonna keep it honest these shits are dope themselves so i'm gonna give it a 9.5 cop them cop them cop them cop them go to the next 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 these are the shorts freedom Fighters, yeah! <laughs> As y'all can see, we got a nice little pair of mesh shorts here that says freedom. We got the drawstrings on the front, and then we got a little booty pocket. We got the front pockets. And obviously, mesh shorts are supposed to be breathable and thin, but these are like 
thin, thin. These are breathable, nigga. The, the wind is gonna be caressing my fucking thighs and knees. Off rip, though. I already found one little defect. Come on now. Come on now, Shein. Come the fuck on. I know your clothes is cheap and accessible, but damn, y'all can't be fucking up like that. Another little defect. It's really small. It's just an extra piece of string, but you can always cut that shit off. Just to note, the drawstrings are not white. They're kind of off-white. The detail of the lettering itself is purely white hence they do not actually match in coloration and another thing i noticed i'm pretty sure this is vinyl if i'm not mistaken over time this will probably come up and eventually rub off the shorts and it will just be a black pair of mesh shorts i could be dead ass motherfucking wrong but based on prior experience with vinyl and this type of material it doesn't really last to freedom all right here we go with the freedom shorts freedom liberty justice wakanda black power Freedom comes, freedom comes, freedom, freedom, freedom comes. I swear on my life, I just want to stick my hand in a pocket. And you know how, like, you rush your hand here? Why the fucking stitching already starting to come apart? This is already falling apart. I'm gonna have to sew it myself. These are nice shorts. The only thing is, that stitching, I told you, manufacturing era. I don't know what they were doing there, but get your shit together. But besides that, we good. And again, the drawstrings do not match the lettering. Material, great. Feels amazing on the skin. Not too, too short. I love love where these fall not super tight on the waist and obviously if i wanted to make them tighter i could easily do that wah, wah. and that's how it looks tied up but this is how the shorts are looking with the feet freedom freedom Freedom. What fucking commercial was that, yo? I know for a fact there's a commercial that has that theme song. If anybody knows what commercial that is, please let me know down in the comments because I know I ain't bugging. That was a jangle to something. Anyways, as for these freedom shorts, um, I would have to give it a... I'm gonna give them a seven. For one, the drawstrings don't match the white and that's really fucking annoying. Two, I personally hate drawstrings that are not neat and tidy at the end. So fucking annoying. Three, I could be dead ass motherfucking wrong, but I truly believe this print, this vinyl won't last too long on these. Four, there are already two manufacturing errors when it comes to like the stitching. You, you see that? It's actually running. So this one is about to come out itself. That along with the material, the instant it tears, these are done for. But if you want a pair of these, click man. Package number two. Heavy duty sweats, cause the the material of this is not like sweatpants. They do literally feel more like joggers, knit joggers at that. Not sure if y'all can actually see that up close, but they got some weight to it. You gonna feel nice, secure, and warm in these, especially if you're going out in like the the fall, winter time, baby. These are nice. These look so clean. Same fucking concept as the last pair. Vinyl on whatever material this is. Drawstrings, but the drawstrings themselves, again, off-white. Vinyl lettering itself is pure white, hence they do not match in color. I don't like that. I don't know why brands and manufacturers do that. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. As you can clearly see, it says, winner on the crotch. You know, I just want y'all to look at my dick and say, ho, 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 this boy right here, he's a winner. That's not really what I want y'all to do, but, <laughs> you know, that's that's where they decided to put the wording and the design, so we're gonna rock out with our cock out. And then the back, it has no design, it's just plain black. Red waistline, elastic stretch. And I personally hate drawstrings that are frizzled at the end and not like actually clumped together because over time, from personal experience, these shits like to rip apart, they get caught on things and sooner or later the drawstring will not look as neat and clean as it does now. Ah, sucky sucky now, baby. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'll fuck with these heavy, boy. I like these jumps right here. These are it right here. Only thing I think they should have changed is the drawstring. Like, why would you make them different colors, you know? Especially since they're not the same white. It should have been on the inside and not the outside. But no funny, no funny. I like these, I like these. These shits go dumb hard, bro. 10 for 10 on the fill of the skin. This shit feels so... Good. Winner! 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 Win, 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 
Nerd. Nah, but these are fire. If you have on slides, they're not gonna be dragging on the floor like some sweats. And this is how it will look with sneakers on. These shits are wavy if you ask me. Nah, I fuck with these heavy. They wavy. They wavy. They wavy just like me. Winner. <laughs> What I was saying, you already know how I feel about these. Definitely a nine and a half out of ten. If it wasn't for these drawstrings being off white as opposed to white, it would have been a ten out of ten. But win some, lose some. If you want to win, next year, next year. We got this little t shirt right here with the, with the little spider and the little heart. Simple graphic tee. And as y'all know, I'm all about love and light, baby. So she rocking the heart on her ass and take that everywhere she go. Off rip, I can tell you I might not be the biggest fan of this just based on the material and the sizing. And yes, this is an extra small shirt. In terms of the material, baby, ugh. First of all, it's stretchy as fuck shit. But also, it's like a workout slash swim material. I don't know where it lies, but it's surely, it's it's not a regular t-shirt. So yeah. You're not paying attention to below the belt. This is the shirt. Don't focus on the shirt. Spidey, spidey, spidey shirt. I'm fucking annoying, yo. <laughs> Y'all not tired of me yet? Back to the shirt. Spider-Man. Ooh. Actually, this is the first time I'm feeling it. I didn't even feel it earlier. Definitely vinyl. I'm not even gonna hold you. I truly believe after the first like three washes, this will be non-existent. It's a nice little shirt. It's simple, nothing crazy, a little graphic. Not really feeling the whole like athletic swimwear type of feel. It's something about it that I just don't like. But in terms of like how it actually feels falling on my body and on my skin, I actually really love it. And it feels like there will be a lot of access for when to just gently breathe and caress my skin with this type of shirt but i believe again i could be completely wrong if you get sweaty enough this shirt will retain a lot of the sweat so it's a hit or miss on the material i would just have to rock it out and see what it's really given I'll give it a six. I'll give it a calm six. I was gonna say five, but I'll give it a calm six. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all personally. I'm just not a fan of the material to wear it as like an everyday basic tee. I don't mind wearing like workout shirts or shirts with this type of material. And it is hard to pair with certain types of materials in terms of bottoms. So I would just have to be extremely mindful of that. Outside of that, I like the way it fits. The design is cute. It could have been way better, but it's, it's a little, it's something, you know? If you're not scared of spiders, especially this little cutie with a heart booty. Gonna keep it going with the shin. Ooh. As y'all can tell, these are graphic shorts. But yeah, these are supposed to just be some regular pairs of shorts, but to me, they slightly feel like swimming trunks. I'm not sure if it's just shein using cheaper materials to equate to the cheaper prices, but this is definitely not the material of what regular shorts would feel like. And it truly feels like if these get caught on anything and I pull, these shits are gonna rip apart. So hoping that don't happen, especially while I'm in the pool. Yeah, I don't need to see my goodies. <laughs> Close up on the details, ribbed waistline, flexible, stretchy, drawstrings. We got black drawstrings here, and they are cleanly capped at the end with the A G L E T aglet. Don't forget it. <laughs> Shout out to Phineas and Ferb. Like, I will wholeheartedly wear these to a beach party or just to go to the beach or pool, whatever the vibes is, water sports. Throw these bad babies on. To be honest, I'm not even sure they can handle the water, but that's what they feel like, fucking swimming drunk. These come with the drawstrings that have the aglets at the bottom, and the drawstrings themselves are actually black and matches the shorts, so it's not much of an eyesore. I would dare rock these with this. That would be a fire. But anyway, this is how they do look with sneakers on your feet. I think I like my just Overall, I'm gonna have to give these a eight. Yeah, overall, I'm gonna give these an eight. They're pretty cool. They're pretty comfy. It has a dope ass design on it. It's really unique. The only thing I don't like about these, I would have to say, is how light they are. They weren't labeled as beach shorts, so I didn't anticipate them being beach shorts. And I don't mind it because there are plenty of shorts that I have that are for the beach that I wear outside. But this is like a cheap beach material to the point where I feel like like these won't last too long the slightest little snug and tear like these are done for besides that these are awesome and they have multiple colorways online so if you want a pair 
cop. She a very, 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 very big scarf to wrap around my head and my hair when I am ready and in need of it. But yeah. I don't know what material this shit is, but this feels so beautiful, especially in the middle area. Like the edge is thin, as y'all can see. The edge is very thin, and then it goes into like this little pattern style here. The feel of this area right here feels so nice to your skin, bro. Ugh, amazing, uh, fucking amazing. I actually have several scarves and none of them are plain black and that always irritates me. Especially when I'm trying to do something or go out and I don't have a black scarf. Like, how do you not have a black scarf <laughs> in your collection, you know? So, I did myself a favor and I went ahead and I got one. I will say, this is not as long as I assumed it was going to be. So, this part right here is not as thick as I want it to be. We're going to keep wrapping. So, yeah, this is kind of where the issue comes in with it not being long enough. I'm going to have to squeeze my head for this one. As y'all can see. I got the scarf on my little scully right here. It's definitely sitting much better than it was earlier, but it's still not, you know, up to par because of length and because of me rushing and not taking my time. Regardless, it's doing its job. This shit is tight as fuck right now. I definitely want to wear it for long periods of time just because it's, it's just too much pressure on my head. So yeah, y'all probably won't catch me with this on for extended periods of time unless I have no hair under this. It's size, lacks, and what it needs to fully encompass my head in a comfortable way to tie it. so it hurts i'm gonna have to give this shit right here a solid ooh, seven and a half and the only reason why i'm knocking so much off of it is because size played a really big part into why i got it it doesn't fit and it's not as comfortable i can't even tie it use a scrunchie to keep it all together so as long as i have hair on my head this will not fit and as of right now it's gonna stand at a 7.5 but if you want to cop this right here or the other colorways because they definitely have more click up I know y'all don't want to see my face right now. Y'all just want to see the clothes I'm trying on. But anyway, if you see any articles of clothing or accessories that y'all fuck with real heavy and you want to add to your collection and closet, I advise you to cop right the fuck now. Because most of the prices you see listed on video when I say cop now, literally means cop the fuck now. That's the prices right now. Because when I made these purchases over two months ago at this point, majority of it was full fucking price. So y'all getting good ass discounts right now. And sadly, I'm not an influencer for a boo man or sheen, so I don't have a discount code for y'all. I should probably look into that as much as I buy from them. And I'll be trying on clothes and doing these little holes and reviews for y'all. I should dead ass become an influencer, you know? All is well. I will have every single thing linked in the description down below. So y'all already know where to go, what to click on. Make your life a little bit easier. Alright, alright. Peace. Yo, somebody give me some workout tips, bro. I need to get buff like in the next month or so. Boy, bruh. Back to the video we go. Alrighty, alrighty, let's go. The boohoo. You already know we like to start our simple and small. Uno. Oh. Some boohoo men ankle socks. We got black pairs. We got white pairs. Basics. The things that go with any and everything. The things that are essential that you need in your closet. And as y'all can see, you got the man logo on the side right there. I know I said on the side, but technically when you actually go to put the ankle sock on, the insignia would be on the top of your foot. So that's that on that for the socks. And each pack itself came with five pairs. So I have ten pairs in total. Five black, five white. Obviously, I'm not going try them on now because i have a pair of socks on that i've been wearing all day and why would i put a brand new fresh pair of clean ass socks on some dirty stink feet not happening just gonna have to trust the packaging on this one and know that they fit most socks that i get in this size always fit so that should not be an issue and for these babies right here i kind of feel weird rating them since i didn't necessarily try them on so i'm not gonna rate them again i should have no issue putting these on they're fucking socks they're ankle socks at that but if you're in need of socks black or white five per pack definitely go cop you a little stack first shirt up from boohoo man kids do not need no ass and titties up on they shirts boy <laughs> but i do check it out check it out this shirt is large as hell granted it is an extra small but it is an oversized extra small i played myself getting that also this shirt right here that i have on right now is the extra small do you see how small and tight fitting this shirt is on me. Look how big this shirt is. And I can't return anything. The shirt is fire, but it's not gonna fit me. The front, as you can see, is plain. It's just gray. On the back, though, this is where all the fucking action and art is. This shit is clean, bro. It reminds me of like a, a vintage car type shit. 
Is it like illegal to not have pants on on YouTube? We rockin' now, with our cock out. Out with our cock out, rockin' now, with our cock out. With our cock out. <laughs> Got a bad bitch on my back. Again, for Boohoo Man, every single shirt I tried on so far has an amazing touch to skin. All oversized comes down to either my elbow or just about. Just helps give you a little more reference on how big the shirt actually is. Wait a minute. I think I left my conscious in a six dimension. Huh, huh, huh. Burn it right now, right now. Just sitting it up. Oh wow! In terms of this bad baby right here, I'm gonna have to give this a 9. Only because of how oversized it is. I really like it. I love the way it feels on my body. I love the way it falls on me. The only thing it is, is slightly too big. And I think it would have been more recognizable to you guys if I did have bottoms on. Um, So that leaves it standing at a 9. But outside of that, amazing shirt. Just wish it was a little smaller. But if you're trying to cop, Second item from Boohoo Man. Second t-shirt. Again, nothing on the front. And on the back, we got a very, very simple graphic. This is also oversized, extra small. Again, I don't know why I played myself. As y'all can see, this shirt is big as fuck. Way too big. This is a large ass shirt. No funny shit, my stomach ends right here. Bro, I just have a really small torso in general, but... <laughs> Since I'm stuck and I gotta keep it, I'm gonna make it work, baby. I will say though, the material of this shirt, it has such a nice feel and touch to skin. The quality is amazing. Poor homie. I never know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I will probably end up giving this one, I don't know, like a five, neutral, because I don't really care for the design too much. I don't know, I just liked it better online than in my hand and on my person. Two, this shit is long as Fuck. There's no reason for this to be that long. The materials are right, nothing crazy. You already know what to do if you wanna cop one too. Shirt day number three from Boohoo Man. Boohoo Man. Boohoo Man. Boohoo Man. 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 Ah! This, this is a small t-shirt. Now, I know this gonna fit my little buddy. As y'all can see, it has the man insignia on the front, right in the middle of the chest. And to note, that is 3D embroidery, so you can actually feel this stitch it feels really nice i love 3d embroidery i feel like if you have a brand and you ever want to add your shit onto a shirt yeah you could always go with this basic topography and have it bold aerial cursive sand surf whatever it is but i truly love when people put embroidery rather flat or 3d and they use their logo this is such a basic t but it hits i don't know it's again it's just something about embroidery i just love this is such a clean simple look to me and i'm very glad i got this the back itself is nothing on there and yes it is extra small not oversized sure it's not big not crazy it's actually a really great extra small size i will note that the material of this shirt is much heavier than the black one it is not the same material <laughs> And for this little bad baby right here, the ground gray 3D embroidery, I'm going to have to give it a, a 9. And I'm giving this a 9 only because in comparison to the black fabric, this is just a little more heavier. I don't think it's the GSM. I think it's the specific fabric they use. But yeah, um... 9 out of 10. Cool little shirt to rock whenever. And if I'm not mistaken, shirt 4 is basically the same exact shirt as the one I just showed you, except the shirt itself is black and the 3D embroidery, as you can see, is white. But another plain basic tee. This one is also an extra small, even though I feel like this looks like a small in comparison. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm bugging, but <laughs> this shit looks way bigger than this. Alright, so y'all niggas know I'm not capping. I line these shits up perfectly right even though even though these are both extra small same fucking stylized shirt only thing different is the coloration it's supposed to be the same size shirt extra small you cannot tell me this is the same no 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 that black shirt is bigger i, I know I, I knew i wasn't bugging but as y'all can see it is quite long. We gonna make it work. We gonna, we gonna, 
we gonna make it work. As for the black basic man shirt, I'm gonna give this a... Uh, I'm gonna give this one an 8. I like the material on this a little better than the gray. However, even though I really do love the 3D embroidery, I really wish that it was a black on black instead of white on black. Black on black would have just been fuego, like fire as fuck. What takes away another point is just because this one is slightly bigger than the other one. So this is really a small, more than an extra small. Oh yeah, if you want to have this in your collection, Y'all, yeah. keep it going. I don't remember what shirt this is actually. As you can see, plain Jane, nothing on the front. And then we flip it back to the back and you got this little quote on the bottom that says, don't tell me the sky is the limit when there's footprints on the moon. I love that quote because there's no limit to what you can achieve in this world, especially when our mind is limitless. To us, obviously it, it reaches a certain capacity because we don't know how to access it and Full. However, the amount of knowledge, power, and wisdom we hold within ourselves, you as a human being cannot even compute how powerful we have the potential to be. But anyways, back to the shirt. I technically don't believe there's a goddamn footprint on the moon because the moon landing didn't happen. Um, we could argue about that all the fuck y'all want. <laughs> I know I'm right. Anyway, I don't like... It's crazy because I don't fully believe the quote in itself. I like the quote because of the principle and the usage of the elements in it. I love the moon. I love the stars. I love space. I love the whole concept of it, even though it's not what we have been taught. I still love what it encompasses. And then on top of that, having a quote as powerful as this that's telling you, don't fucking limit yourself. Go beyond whatever anyone has ever told you. The sky's the limit. No, nigga, the, the, the sky is not the limit, at least not for me. I know. Oh, I'm gonna go above and beyond that bitch. As for the shirt as a whole itself, yes, this is an extra small. However, as y'all already can tell, this is a oversized boxy extra small. I'm fucking with this shirt. This is an extra small oversized boxy shirt, guys. Crop. Y'all hear me? Crop top. And that's why it's fitting a little more snug into my body shape. I'm fucking with this shirt and I'm so happy I got it. This shirt is fire, fire. Y'all, yeah, y'all reading my ass? <laughs> ain't stopping my grind, ain't stopping my hustle to the top I go. Cause the bottom is way too crowded, man. Way too crowded. Again, the material, a fucking one. Comes down more than a natural extra small wood. Almost to my elbows, not there quite. See the difference in length? Crop. And for this bad baby right here, this is a 10 for 10. I don't think I have any complaints about this shirt. It's very minimalistic, but it, it hits home. The quote on this is very impactful, or at least it resonates very deeply for me. I love, 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 love the crop and how it sits where it sits. Even though it is oversized, it doesn't really feel or look oversized to me as compared to some of the oversized shirts I have. 10 for fucking 10. Hell yeah, I recommend the cop. Now, actually, you don't need to cop because not too many people need to have the same clothes as me. But, you know, I don't like to gatekeep. So if you do want to cop. And with that shirt out the way, that wraps us up for the shirts today. On to the shorts. Got some gothic topography print shorts right here. Nah, but these shorts are fire. I'm not going to hold you. Off rip though, I'm going to keep it a beam with y'all. I personally have never been a fan of shorts or pants in general that you have to button the crotch area up. We also got the Boohoo Man patch on the back of the shorts. And I love this specifically because it's white and it's not black. It's not brown. Brown, it's not tan. It's nothing nasty that's going to take away from the shorts. Besides that, everything else is normal. Got the two front pockets. You even got the little lighter slash change pocket. Then you got two back pockets. And yeah, I really love these shorts. I'm not going to hold y'all. No, Kizzy, these are fire as fuck. They're not too short. They're not too tight, especially around the waist. Some shoes on. 
and I'm not gonna hold y'all the detail and go crazy on this. It's not too much. It's like just enough, just the right spacing, just the right size that it's not overwhelming, it's not chaotic. Only thing I, I don't like about them is this button shit. As y'all can see, it's already bulging. I shouldn't have to deal with this. But hey, it is what it is. I'll make it work, I'll make it rock. These shorts are fucking hot. As for these shorts right here, I'm gonna have to give them a whopping nine and a half out of 10 only, only because of the buttons. If it would have been a zipper, it would have easily been a 10 out of 10 home run, baby. But minor flaws, we all have them, so I ain't mad. But I definitely love these. Definitely my favorite pair of shorts I caught this time around. So yeah, nine and a half out of 10. But if you wanna be twins, before I even open this shit, right? Just looking at the package itself, I am highly, highly, highly disappointed. These shorts right here is not what I ordered online. I didn't order these shit. Anyway. These are horrible. First, are, are y'all looking at what the fuck I'm looking at? These shits look... Trashy, disgusting. They did a nice job like cutting and distressing them. My issue is they look, they literally look like they just took it, bleached it and stripped it down to this base color. And then when it finally dried, they just said real quick, let it dry. And then they took a fucking little brush and just went over all the fucking distress spots with a deeper royal purple. Like, come on now. It looks like there was no love and time, effort and energy put into this. This is disappointing as fuck, yo. All right, let's, let's get into the details real quick. Button crotch instead of zipper, not a big fan. Here's how the back side looks. And this is the front. You got the little distress patches on the front thigh area, front pockets. Got a little pocket too. I uh, for the most anticipated piece, which actually turned out to be my least favorite. Here we go. Not only do I not like the way they went about the dyeing process, because to me it was really half ass. Because what the fuck is this shit, bro? What the fuck is this shit? This is not it. Whatever the fuck these are, it ain't it. These shits are also extremely tight. That's as much as I can pick up my leg. But even this, I already feel the jean wanting to like snap back into place. Overall, these don't fit me. They're really tight. These feel more like a 27 to be very honest. I could barely get my hand in the pocket, bro. If you do end up getting these and you really like them, I recommend sizing them. But yeah, here's the details up close. And yep, button crotch. And as we all know, this was my least favorite cop out of the whole bundle for multiple, multiple, multiple reasons. One, I don't like the buttons, but that wouldn't have been a problem. I could have got around that. However, the issue is sizing. If it can't fit, there's nothing I can do to compromise, make it look better, try to style it a different way. There's literally nothing I can do. On top of that, the color process, the dye process, however they went about it, I'm just not a fan. It looks really sloppy. And the picture I seen online, does not equate to what I'm seeing in my hand. Y'all gotta remember, purple is my favorite color. I wanted these shits bad. I am so disappointed. So, so disappointed. In terms of my honest rating, I'm gonna give these a... I'll give them a two. Only because I truly love how this bottom hem is distressed. That shit is sick. I haven't seen any other jean or company try to pull off this exact style. I just love it. The shit is wavy. The shit is fuego. Um, I really wish the rest of the pant just match that. The distress spots around the jeans, they're right, they're regular, nothing fancy. And yeah, it's purple, like, oh, I love purple, so I'll give them credit for that. So yeah, two out of 10, if you want these, if you think they fire, I respect it to each they own. Cop your own. Ooh! This is nice. I really love the coloration of this. This is so beautiful. And y'all already know, yes, extra small, but just looking at it, this is a boxy oversize. The front, no graphics, plain Jane. You flip it to the back, that's where all the action at. <laughs> this is fire, 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 fire. I believe this is Japanese, but I could be dead ass motherfucking wrong. After the lettering, you got this dragon elephant type looking creature down on the bottom in the middle. Heavy purple. You already know the vibes. Do so I gotta say it? Royalty, loyalty. And then a couple of graphics to surround him. And then at the bottom, you got a few more words. The material, this feels good as fuck.
The material of the shirt itself feels so fucking amazing. And I know y'all peeped this little stain right here because I peeped the stain. I didn't do that. So boo hoo, y'all gotta get y'all shit together. But yeah, as y'all can see, this shirt is extremely big on me. It literally looks like a dress. It comes down to just past my mid thighs. So obviously oversized. I'm not gonna hold you, this shirt goes nice as fuck with these shorts though. I'm really feeling it. As you can see, the sleeves come down to the elbow, so nice coverage in that area. And for the collar itself, it's a thick collar. That's a big ass chunk right there, you know? Not really a fan of it, but we just gonna have to rock out with our cock out. <laughs> just wanted to see if the shades match. I'm not gonna hold y'all. These shades look nice with the fit. I would say in terms of what the shades actually match with and the fit would definitely have to be this little purple dragon in the back. Same thing with these burnt orange. I got some orange in the back. And you know, you can play Mitch Match, have fun, fuck it up with your shit. But I'm here right now, right now, just sitting in a, oh wow. For this sexy piece right here, this definitely is like, my second favorite shirt nine and a half i was about to say 10 for 10 but i'm gonna say nine and a half only because this one is also a, a tad like the slightest tad a pinch a slither you know the salt bay type of sprinkle that's a little just a little bit too big but i do like it especially with the shorts i tried on overall i really fucking love the shirt down from the color scheme to the graphics and depiction i don't know what it says but this shit is sick and i would hope boohoo man would not put anything stupid false negative on the shirt you know I just would hope. But yeah, I fucking love this shirt right here. Nine and a half. I want to give it a 10. Y'all should definitely not cop because we don't need to be wearing the same shit. But again, <laughs> if you do want this shirt, like if you truly do want this shirt for whatever reasons, because I know it is fire, let them know who sent you though. <laughs> <sighs> Obviously, I'm fucking tired. If y'all only knew what time it is now. 3.55 a.m., bro. Man, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry, man. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't man. thinking about it. I'm going to fuck the sleep. Bro. If you could drop a like, a comment, or just share this video to spread the love more and help more people find me. But yeah, I hope y'all have an amazing night or day, depending on when you're watching this. Blessings, love and light, abundance and warmth coming your way. And most importantly, stay safe out there. This fucking world is crazy. It's like every time you turn around there's something happening somewhere in the world that's affecting someone so keep your head on a swivel stay 10 toes down and protect yourselves love on yourselves by all means love you have a good one peace